Hi guys, it's me again. So I did tell you a couple of videos ago that Turkola was going to take over my social media accounts on YouTube. Here we are again. It's taking over guys. And I'm not even sorry because I love it. <laughs> my clients have gone crazy for it and I know you guys have as well because um, Danielle, bless her heart, over at Diamond Glitters told me she's potted up god knows how many of this um to get posted out over the weekend so i take it all you little youtube subscribers have popped over to diamond glitters and bought it which i do really appreciate and so does danielle so obviously thank you for the support and as long as we keep buying she'll keep mixing and i'll keep doing videos <laughs> so keep buying so the little nail, as you can see, I am doing a full colour, full glitter, sorry, should I say, uh, in cherry cola. What else would it be? So I'm just using really small beads, nice and wet, small movements, just placing it all exactly where I need it. As you can see from the side, super thin. There's no thickness there, no height, because it is literally all for design. We cap later with clear for strength. So the great thing about using multi-cut glitters like this is, as you can see, the larger pieces sort of fill the larger gaps and the smaller pieces fit the smaller gaps. So a lot of people struggle when they're using larger cut glitters to um, get a full nail to get a full coverage so with, but with a multi-cut it kind of does the work for you and also I think it appears the nail appears more deep I think if that makes sense it gives it depth like I don't know if that makes sense to you guys but I know exactly what I mean so it doesn't I'll apologize and if it does thank god somebody else is on my wavelength <laughs> so I'm happy that that's all covered I've obviously give it a little wiggle because it's just glitter and I had to make it sparkle I am moving on to the ring finger and I'm doing an extended nail bed. This time I am using CJP's Perfect Peach. Um, I absolutely adore Perfect Peach. It is lovely. It's not one that I generally use for nail beds very often. Um, the only time I probably would use it is if I'm doing a sort of a full Perfect Peach and then I'll do the nail bed in the same colour, you know, to match and sort of tie it all in. Um, but my lovely lady in the chair today uh, is an actually an amazing nail tech called Sophie Garbett. So if you pop over to Instagram and check her out, it's Sophie Garbett Nail Artist, I do believe. She is amazing. She's not long been qualified, really. Um, and she's a feisty little one. Her nails are on point and every set is getting better and better. So definitely one to watch, guys. But now that I've finished picking her up, she'll probably die when she finds out I've done that. <laughs> um, yes, I'm using uh, CJP's Perfect Peach because this is her favourite colour pink. So I thought I'd better give her it. So I have mentioned um, previously in another video that I am using the old formula of Perfect Peach. A lot of people struggled with it because it's so pigmented. It seems to set really, really fast. So if you do work that little bit wetter with it, then obviously it, it does help a lot. I can hear the dog snoring. <laughs> I am very sorry. She's so lazy. She's been asleep all day. <laughs> so yeah, back to the nails now the dog's finished interrupting. Uh, yes, it is obviously CJP Perfect Peach. Again, it's the old formula. Uh, the new formula is meant to be a lot easier to work with. But I haven't tried it yet. Obviously, this is my uh, old pot and I've still got some in it. So I'm not going to buy a new pot until I absolutely have to. I don't want to get confused, obviously, with ratios, etc. So I do tend to build in smaller beads. Uh, just so I know that I can get my structure right and everything. With me having to work that a little bit wetter. So just keep brushing, making sure you're happy, always bringing that smile line back into a point. So then onto the middle finger, guys. Um, I'm not sure if I've watched this ever, but I'm filming with my iPhone 7 instead of my iPad Pro. 
so the angle is different and also you can see that it's focusing on the wrong points it's focusing on the nail in front instead of the nail that I'm actually working on so um, after much deliberation I've decided to carry on filming on my iPad Pro this was just a test and plus I have filled my iPad Pro up with uh, videos and pictures and whatnot so I'm having to delete pictures of my children so I can fit pictures and videos on for you guys <laughs> so please be very appreciative of that um, but basically what I've done on this middle nail um, is I on the tip I have actually used two glitters so I have used fuchsia and purple in the holographic multi-mix glitters so that's fuchsia and purple in the holographic multi-cut glitters and then at the cuticle area I am using my beloved cherry cola I'm just blending that up now so again I will apologize that it's not in focus but obviously the iPhone 7 is not suitable for me filming so from now on they will be done with the uh, iPad Pro now that I've deleted most of the pictures of my children on it I mean I have saved them on another device don't think I've just deleted them forever like, I'm not that bad of a mother So I'm just passing it in, making sure it's nice and thin. And then on the index finger, um, this one is going to be a cat eye gel polish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this whole nail in crystal glass. You can see how it's really blurry and it's just focused on the nail in front. It's absolutely drove me insane. But you can you can still see what's happening. Obviously, I know everyone loved this set. Um, I, it got loads of feedback and things like that. So, and I had the video, so I know it's not the great quality. But I just thought I'd upload it anyway because you never know it might help somebody. So I'm just checking that my cuticle is nice and neat around side walls and free area and free edge area even. And then I am going to place uh, another bead on at the apex just to make sure that it's high enough pull it right down and then again tidying up my edges you can see I'm having a chat to my client at the same time the brush just starts floating in the air randomly so um, I've come back to the ring finger and as you can see I have refined my smile line and I'm just cleaning it up of any dust now and I'm going to apply CJP's Black Magic to the tip so we all know black acrylic can be a mare to work with so the best thing I think to do is just to paint it the best you can right up to the wings and um, try not to get any on cuticle because we know it stains and it will ruin the picture so just pulling that right up to the wings and then patting it into place so I'm doing this whole free edge black because this is also going to be uh, the cat eye but obviously place it just doing it on the tip instead of the full nail like I have like I will be doing sorry on the index finger So I'm just again making sure I'm happy, pushing it all into place, patting it all down. Obviously not worrying about the black on the cute on the uh, pink, sorry. Because we all know once we file it, it'll come nice and crisp. So I'm just coming in and capping now in CJP's crystal glass as always. It is the clearest acrylic I have ever, ever tried in my life. Before I actually started using CJP, I um, pretty much always did hybrid nails. So I'd do my base in acrylic and then my glitters, etc. I would cap in hard gel just for the simple fact that when I was using uh, my previous systems, the clear acrylic, I mean it was clear, don't get me wrong, but it was it was cloudy. You could always see cloudiness in it. 
um, and it just wasn't clear enough but then obviously I tried CJP and it is super clear it may as well be gel so I've pretty much stopped hybrids now and I do all my work in gel so as you can see that whole nail is matte so I know that it is covered enough so after the set is filed in I am going to apply one layer of black gel polish now the black gel polish I'm using is from the gel bottle ink and it is called jet black so I'm just doing a nice thin layer obviously you don't want to work too thick with black because it can wrinkle so nice and thin very slowly just teasing it into that cuticle area making sure it's, you've got a nice even coverage because you want to try and get it done in one coat if you can because you are going to apply another coat of colour over the top we're going to cure for 30 seconds and then we are going to go over with our cat eye polish now this is cat eye 05 also from the gel bottle ink it can be used on its own so you can do a coat of colour cure then another coat of the colour and hold the magnet over I like to do it over black just because it gives it that much more bit much more definition so like I said I've done a layer of black cured then I've done a layer of the cat eye 05 so you can see it's still wet it's uncured and I'm holding over my magnet now hold over your magnet for around around 10 seconds maybe and then you're going to pull it off and voila is all I can say wow <laughs> so you're going to pop that straight into the lamp to cure for 30 seconds and you literally as soon as you take that magnet off you want to be popping it in the lamp because you don't want that pigment to start falling again and to start settling down so as you can see I am now painting the uh, free edge area so obviously I've used a normal brush just to paint the bulk and now I'm coming in with my uh, gel bottle ink detailer and I'm just painting around my smile line area just with the cat eye 05 but there is no need to paint the black because we've got the black tip underneath you see so I'm just making sure that I've got around that smile line area nice and neatly and that it's blending into the previous uh, bit that I've applied <coughs> excuse me so I'm just using a really small detailer brush just to get right up into that wing and paint around that smile line area And then I'm going to come back in with my uh, actual bottle brush and just blend them two together, make sure there's no seam. And then we're going to hold over the magnet again for around 10 seconds, which feels like forever. And then you're going to pop that into the lamp to cure. So here we are, top coating. So I'm top coating using the Gel Bottle Links Extreme Shine top coat. really wish that I'd pick up how sparkly that is it's just not just focusing on my nail for some strange reason when it's fugly <laughs> it's focusing on my fugly nail instead of that beautiful nail I've just created so I'm just applying a really good layer of the job all links extreme shine top coat as you can see in the background I'm tipping the bottle I am so so low on this but as we speak, there is a order, uh, well, there's a parcel actually waiting in my children's playhouse. Um, but it's 10 o'clock at night and I don't go and get it because there's spiders in there. But by the time this is uploaded, like obviously it'll be a couple of days time, it'll be gone out of there. So nobody come and try and rob my playhouse <laughs> for my chill bottle order. Because <laughs> it'll be safely in salon. But yeah, I just don't go in there because there's lots of spiders. So just um, applying the top coat to the middle nail and you can just see the difference in the glitter there. And then oh, look at that cat eye. This is my favourite cat eye. It is absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely, oh, it's just, it's amazing. So I'm just applying a really good thick top coat again. And then I'm going to pop that into the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And we're going to apply our cuticle oil. And then we shall be 
all done. So here is a picture of the finished set once again. As always, thank you so so much for watching. Um, it's just thank you for all your support. My YouTube is growing and growing, and I promise I will try and get some more videos uploaded real soon.